Greetings to all on the channel Forgotten Legends. Today I would like to talk about, without a doubt, the most talented footballer in the history of Australia. At one time he was a big threat in the Premier League, but unfortunately he did not reveal himself due to injuries. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Kewell. The future winger was born on 22nd September 1978 in Sydney to an English father, Rod, and an Australian mother, Helen. His favorite club as a child was Liverpool. He started playing football in primary school for the school team. In 1990, he went to Westfield High School, where he started playing for Marconi Stallions. At the age of 14, he all traveled to Thailand, Italy, and England with his team. It was there that he got his first taste of of European football. At the age of 15, Harry, along with fellow future professional footballer Brad Emerton, went to Leeds United for a one-month trial. Both players performed well, but on the queue moved to the white camp as he was able to get a visa because of his English father. He played for Leeds Youth team for three seasons and even won the FA Youth Cup with them. He made his professional football debut on March 30, 1996 in a home game against Middlesbrough which White lost 1-0. He scored his first goal in October 1997 in a League Cup match with Stoke. On 24th April 1996, Kuehl made his Australian national team debut against Chile. In the 1998 FIFA World Cup qualifiers away game against Iran, Kuehl scored his first goal for the national team, tying the score. This left chances for the national team with a home game in Melbourne. In the home match, Kuehl scored his second goal for the national team. The match ended 2-2 and Iran came through on away goals. A few months later, Kuehl was selected to play in the 1997 Confederations Cup. At that tournament, Australia easily qualified from their group before facing Uruguay in the semi-finals. Kuehl then scored a decisive golden goal in the second minute of the extra half, which allowed Australia to reach the final. In the final, the Socceroos were defeated 6-0 by Brazil. Playing the left winger, Kuehl became one of the Leeds' most promising player, playing alongside his compatriot Mark Viduka. The 1999-2000 season was Kuehl's most successful with the Whites, winning the PFA Youth Player of the Year award and being named in the PFA Top Young Footballers team. Inter Milan offered 25 million pounds for Harry that season, but Leeds rejected the offer. In the 2000-2001 season, the Whites, along with Kuehl, reached the Champions League semi-finals. In the 2002 World Cup qualifying playoffs, Australia lost 3-1 to Uruguay on aggregate. Despite the previous successes, Leeds later ran into major financial difficulties. By the end of the 2002-2003 season, the club had sold most of its leaders. Kuehl, fearing relegation to the championship, also decided to leave the club. In the end, the parties parted ways with a scandal. Kuehl gave an interview to the BBC in which he criticized the coaching staff. As a result, before the start of the 2003-2004 season, Kuehl moved to the club he had supported since childhood, Liverpool, despite the offers from Milan, Chelsea, Manchester United, Arsenal and Barcelona. Kuehl's move cost Liverpool £5 million. Back then, former England captain Harry Lineker wrote an article where he said that Liverpool had paid £2 million to Kuehl's unregistered agent, Benny Mandic, to guarantee Harry's transfer. In 2005, Kuehl sued Lineker for defamation, but because the jury could not reach a decision, the parties had to settle out of court. Kuehl made his debut for the Reds in the first Premier League match of the 2003-2004 season, losing to Chelsea. He scored his first goal in a 3-0 win against Everton. During the 2003-2004 season, Kuehl scored 7 goals in the Premier League. Kuehl was also the Reds' top scorer in the UEFA Cup with 
three goals against Olympia Ljubljana, Stjala Bucharest and Levski Sofia. Kjul was called up to the OFC Nations Cup final, scoring in the 8th minute against the Solomon Islands. In the end, Australia took the title by defeating the underdogs 11-1. Harry started the 2004-2005 season in the worst possible way, not scoring a goal in the first 14 Premier League matches due to injury. Kjul scored his first and only Premier League goal that season on match day 15 against Aston Villa, which ended in a 1-1 draw. Kjul started for the 2005 League Cup final in which Liverpool lost 2-3 to Chelsea. Kjul also appeared at the start for the 2005 Champions League final match against Milan, but he was replaced at the very beginning of the match due to a torn up doctor muscle. Then the fans booed Kjul because they thought that he was faking an injury. Despite this, Liverpool made a legendary comeback and won on penalties. Kjul became the first Australian-born footballer to win a major European tournament. On November 16, 2005, Australia qualified for the World Cup for the first time since 1974 by defeating Uruguay on penalties. That's it, the end of the song. Next time you'll sing along. Trust me, there's nothing wrong. I just need to carry on, cause society's a myth. Put there to make you sit. Listen to what they give. Don't ask questions, shut your lid. Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid. I need to run away. In the 2005-2006 season, Kyo got into great form, scoring an even assist. In the 2006 FA Cup final, which was later called Gerrard's final, Kyo was substituted after 48 minutes with a torn groin muscle. Despite this, he managed to recover for the 2006 World Cup. In the first match against Japan, Kyo started and Socceroos won 3-1. In the match against the Brazilians, Kyo remained on the bench but was released in the second half. The Australians then lost with a score of 0-2. In the decisive group match with Croatia, Kjul scored his team's second goal, leveling the score. This allowed the Australians to reach the playoffs of the World Cup for the first time in their history. Unfortunately, Kjul was unable to help his team in the round of 16 match, in which the Socceroos lost 1-0 to the Italians. On 5th May 2007, after a year away from club football, Kjul came on as a second-half substitute against Fulham. He also came on as a substitute in the final Premier League game of the 2006-2007 season against Charlton, scoring his last goal for the Reds. In the 2007 Champions League final in Athens, Hewell appeared in the second half, but Liverpool lost 2-1 to Milan. At the 2007 Asian Cup, Australia, along with Hewell, went through the group stage and lost to Japan in the quarterfinals on penalties. For the entire 2007-2008 season, Kuhl barely played. Because of this, before the start of the 2008-2009 season, Kuhl signed with Turkish Super League champion Galatasaray contract. Kuhl signed a contract with the Turkish club for two years. After the transfer, he was criticized by fans and Blitz players because on the eve of the semi-finals of the 2000 UEFA Cup, two Leeds fans were killed in Istanbul. Harry wrote an open sheet in which he reported the following. I chose the number 19 shirt when I signed for Galatasaray SK as a sign of respect for Leeds because that was the number I got when I first became a regular member of the Leeds United starting 11. I felt that it might be a way to demonstrate that I had not forgotten where it all started and I was hoping that in a small way it would help the healing process of the tragedy that occurred on 5th April 2000. To blame the Galatasaray club for the tragedy in Istanbul is simply wrong and discriminatory. He made his debut in the Turkish Super Cup match coming on as a substitute in the 66th minute and after 20 seconds he scored his first goal. Galatasaray then defeated Kaiserispor with a score of 2-1. In the round of 32 UEFA Cup, Harry scored from 35 meters against Bordeaux. In the round of 16 against Hamburg, Kjul had to 
play 40 minutes in the CB position. In the second black, he also played in the central back position, even scoring from the penalty spot. Despite this, Galatasaray then lost. In total for the season, Kuhl scored 13 goals and gave 7 assists. In 2009-2010 season, Kuhl scored 14 goals and had 6 assists as a center forward due to an injury to Milan Baros. That season, Galatasaray took 3rd place in the championship and was also knocked out at the round of 32 stage of the Europa League, losing to future champions Atletico Madrid. The Australian team, along with Kuhl, qualified for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. Harry was absent from the opening match against Germany, in which the Socceroos lost 4-0. In the next match with Ghana, Kuhl unsuccessfully blocked the ball with his hand at 24th minute. The referee gave him a straight red card. Asamo Gyan converted the penalty, the match ended 1-1, and the Australians lost any chance of qualifying for the group. On July 19, 2010, Kuhl extended his contract with Galatasaray for another year. In the 2010-2011 season, Kuhl scored 5 goals in 20 matches as Galatasaray finished in the 8th place. August 20, 2011, Kuhl signed a 3-year contract with Melbourne Victory. For the club, Harry played only a season, scoring 8 goals, and flew to Europe to be closer to his mother-in-law, who was battling cancer. In 2013, he moved to the Qatari club Al Garafa, where he played only 3 matches and scored 1 goal. And in June 2013, he moved to Melbourne Heart, spending a season there. In 16 matches, he scored 2 goals, gave 3 assists and ended his career. After his retirement, he unsuccessfully coached several English clubs such as Watford, Crowley Town, Oldham Athletic, Notts County and Barnet. In June 2022, Kuhl was appointed as assistant manager to Ante Postecoglou at Celtics. In 2000, Kuhl met his future wife, soap opera actress Sherry Murphy. The couple married on May 24, 2002 and have four children. Kuhl also loves rugby. He is a fan of the Canterbury Bankstone Bulldogs. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe on the channel, press the like and the notification button. Write in the comment who would you like to see the next video about. Take care and watch football. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man. I always stay up. Don't let them see you.